unicorn friends, today I'm going to try a magical experiment. I'm going to make a whole food, plant based, vegan, carrot orange cake. Never made one of these before, have no idea what I'm doing, but I've got random ingredients here that's going to work. I've got some oats, flaxseed, bicarbonate soda, baking powder, mixed spice, uh, cinnamon, maple syrup, date syrup, peanut butter, soy milk orange, carrot, and apple. So we're gonna blend all these into a magical cake. So first, I'm gonna make the fruit puree. So we're gonna start with three little fruities, or two fruits and a vegetable. Gonna peel the carrots. Make a mess everywhere because making a mess is fun. The ingredients for my compost bin. Nothing goes to waste. I'm making this cake suitable for doggies so that if it turns out absolute disaster I can give it to my dog. <laughs> so go ahead and cut these up a little bit, chuck those in the food processor and go ahead and chop my apple instant slices. Those in the food processor. Okay, with the orange, I'm going to do two things. First, we're going to take the zest and keep that for later for a special sauce that I'm going to make. I'm just going to break the zest off. Zester is going to be easy. Okay, we have one. So I'm just going to put this cheese grater. This is going to be for the chocolate orange sauce that I'm going to make later. Juice it.
Okay, now I'm going to add the orange juice that we just made, some beet syrup. I'm not going to measure anything today, just going to randomly throw stuff together, see what magic happens. And a little bit of maple syrup. Okay, now I'm going to cook that on the hob for a few minutes just to soften the veggies. I'm just going to cook it down just to break the cells up a little bit. Bring it to the boil and just let it simmer for maybe five minutes. Make sure you keep it moving so it doesn't burn. Starting to get squishy and soft now. Okay, I'm going to leave that now to cool down a little bit and start the next part. Okay, so next part we're going to make the dry ingredient mix. We need some oat flour, this is just oats that I blended. No idea how many, just chuck a load in, doesn't matter. Basically this is going to be designed on texture rather than weights and volumes. Okay, this is some oats, and some ground flaxseed, a scoop, whatever that is. Some bicarbonate soda, it's a bit lumpy, so let's sieve that through. And some baking powder, why not mix them both? Gonna have some mixed spice. Chuck a load of that in, and some cinnamon. Give that a mix. mixture to cool down a little bit and then we're going to blend those two together. Okay so now we've got the cooled vegetable mixture I'm going to add some peanut butter. This is 100% peanut butter smooth. Very very runny. Two big dollops of that.
Maple syrup. I'm going to add the wet mixture to the dry mixture. Tin ready, and then I'm going to mix these two together, and then I'm going to add enough soy milk to make it to the right texture. So I'll just get these blended a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit thick, so we just add a little splash of soy milk. A little bit more. I never buy anything, I go by how things look and feel. There we go, so it's got a nice sloppy texture. Put that into the baking pan. Okay, now we're going to put that in the oven at 180-ish for a period of time until it's cooked. <laughs> However long that is, so I don't know. Okay, the next part we're going to do a chocolate orange sauce. So for that we need the orange zest from earlier. And some cocoa powder. Lots of date syrup, all of it. Maple syrup. And then just mix. Takes a little while to blend it up, but just keep going until it's nice and smooth. Want to do this in a blender? No problem.
It's a really rich, dark sauce. Very strong flavour. Pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Taste test. Wow. Mmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't eat the entire pot before the cake is ready. I'm just gonna transfer it to a squeezy bottle. And then it looks like I'm gonna have to lick the bowl. Oops, shame. <laughs> now it's with the cake, and we're ready to serve with some. Whole fruit plant based, chocolate fruit ice cream, and chocolate orange sauce. Okay, put that one side for later. And now we wait for the cake and see if it works. <laughs> so there you have whole fruit plant based carrot and orange cake. Cooling just out the oven is about 25 minutes at 180 degrees was enough. So let it cool down and then I'll cut it up and show you what it looks like inside and the final taste test. So here we go, the moment of truth. Is the cake delicious? Or is the cake a failure? Let's see. It looks pretty good. Let's give it a slice and see. If it's disgusting, I have a nice little friend here, Mikey Broy, who will uh, finish the cake for me if it's disgusting. So good. Say that looks pretty good for a random cake experiment. <laughs> Looking tasty. So we're gonna add some ice cream. This is also whole food, plant-based, vegan, gluten-free ice cream for a whole food plant based vegan gluten free cake. Let's have a couple of scoops. So this ice cream is coconut, papaya and banana. It's absolutely delicious. If you want an ice cream tutorial, like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do and uh, tell me what ice cream flavour you want to make. This one's really tasty but I can make anything. Let me know. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this delicious chocolate orange sauce. And there we go. Absolutely. Amazing. Vegan gluten free whole food cake and ice cream and chocolate sauce. Who says vegans miss out on stuff? Absolute nonsense. So, first taste test. Never made this before, so let's see. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is not going to live very long. <laughs> okay, this is absolutely delicious. Mm. <laughs> Have a freaking morning today. Give it a try. 
part of this cooking channel is to show you that you don't need to have scales and measure stuff, randomly mix shit together and make it taste good. It's not hard to do cooking. You just have to be brave and experiment. Don't be scared of cooking things. Mm. If I was going to make this that was not doggy friendly, I would also add raisins and walnuts to it as well. But uh, as I have a dog, I made this one dog friendly because it's not fair on him that I eat all the cake. This is amazing.